Everybody knows about diabetes. It affects 180 million women around the world. This is the same population than Germany, Spain, and UK together. But there is a mystery disease that affects the same number of people. A mystery disease that takes nine years to diagnose, that is extremely painful, and that is the number one cause of infertility in women. I'm talking about endometriosis. How many of you have heard about it? Not too bad, but probably not many. I, myself, a biomedical engineer, had never heard about it until my friend Anna explained to me that she was suffering from terrible stomach pain during her periods. She was also trying to get pregnant, but with no success. And all the doctors she had seen kept saying the same thing. Well, there is nothing wrong, and it's probably in your head. Luckily, one day after years, one doctor really paid attention to her and found out she had endometriosis. When I started researching about it, I realized that it was not only Anna, but shockingly, one in ten of the women in this room may have it. To keep it simple, endometriosis is a bit like a cancer, except you don't die from it. It's tissue that normally grows inside the uterus, that starts to grow outside and to invade your abdominal organs. On top of that, it takes nine years to diagnose, and it can only be done through a traumatic surgery. Just imagine yourself being a patient. There is a 50% chance that the disease will come back after the surgery, and if it does, you will have to undergo five surgeries. In other words, you never know when it will hit, you always fear it will come back, and you'll never know if you are cured. What a terrible journey. I have always wanted to work in the medical field, but not as a doctor, rather as an engineer who could help scientists and doctors to invent new solutions for patients. I was lucky to start my first company at the age of 25 and sold it eight years later. But, well, 33 was way too young to retire, and I wanted to use this experience for another challenging cause. So when Anna told me about endometriosis, and that when I realized that that these women were not really helped, I knew I had to do something about it. This is why I started Endodiag a few years ago. Since then, when I say the word endometriosis around me, I immediately know if a woman is affected. There is a reaction in her look, a reaction in her eyes that tells you all her suffering she has. And a bit like an unspoken code between us, she knows that I know what she's going through. That look really affects me. And that look is really what drives me to do this work. So our vision at Endodiag is that if we can diagnose early, it will also become easier to treat, as we will significantly avoid the organ damage. This is why we are specifically working on improving its diagnosis. The first product we are developing is called Endodetect. It's a simple and fast blood test, no more surgery, just a test that detects specific biomarkers of endometriosis circulating into your blood. Unfortunately, endometriosis is a complex disease, and it will be different from one patient to another. For this reason, we are also working on a very exciting test, which is a kind of ID card for each patient. This ID card will provide a personalized profile of her disease and will be extremely useful for her doctor to predict how to follow her, how to treat her, and what's the best way for her to get pregnant. These tests and these technological tools are great, and we need them to change the paradigm of endometriosis. But I'm afraid it's not going to be enough. We also need to raise awareness on the disease so that women and doctors start paying attention to the early signs and stop thinking that painful periods are normal. Since day one in our company, we want to contribute to this other challenge to make this disease known. In collaboration with patient association and doctors, we have launched a web platform, OS2020, that connects people together, patients with patients, patients with doctors, scientists with doctors, and so on. This platform has three goals. The first one is to raise awareness. The second one is to educate patients. 
And the third one is to support research by collecting big data. So where do we go from here? In Europe alone, endometriosis costs us 30 billion euro every year. We can change that soon. Our blood test is entering in clinical validation and should be available on the market within two years. Replacing an expensive surgery by a simple blood test will have a strong impact on the cost, but more importantly, a huge impact on the quality of life of patients. The first generation of our test has to be performed in a lab, but we want to develop a second generation that will be performed directly at the doctor's office and will only take a few minutes. Our goal is that endometriosis screening become a routine exam for teenagers and that the next generation of women will not have to undergo this terrible journey. In order to finish the development of our tests and to prepare its commercial launch, we need 5 million euros, and we are currently looking for investors. But we also need you. We need to bring in your countries such initiatives as OS 2020 to support the patients and to raise awareness. And finally, we need more involvement for the public, from the public authorities. In 2005, the European Commission published a report asking for extensive information campaign as well as for support for research. It's 10 years later, and unfortunately, not much has been done. The number of patients is growing, and endometriosis still does not fit into any box during calls for funding. But we hope it will change here today. Not only for my friends Anna, but maybe for your daughter, for your wife, or for your sister. If we can catch it early, we can really change lives of millions of women so that endometriosis won't be such a mystery disease anymore and it will get the attention it deserves. Thank you.